Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Griddler Elite. I love this product. I have it at home myself. I use it all the time, especially when I'm entertaining because it has a really big cooking surface. Let me open it up to show you some of its great features. So first and foremost, it has removable plates. So let me just show you. Press this little button on the side. And the plates are removable. You'll notice there are these ridges here and also these, um, this plug and the metal part here. These have what's called an embedded he heating element, which means the heating element is actually between the plates. So it makes it really super efficient for cooking. And it's um, reversible. So you have one flat side, one uh, grill side, and the same is to be said for the bottom part. The other great thing about this is that um, the plates can go directly into the dishwasher for easy cleanup. I'm just gonna switch this one. So you can see how simple and easy it is. Now, after you're done cooking, make sure you let it cool off before you remove the plates. But I love the fact that they go right into the dishwasher. The other thing that's really great about this product is that it is, um, other than having a large cooking surface, it also can open all the way up. And see how you get two large cooking flat cooking surfaces? So you can um, do up to, I believe it's like you can do six hamburgers on each side. You can do, if you're on the flat side, you can do up to 12 pancakes. So that's really great. If you have a large group for breakfast, you could use the flat side for the pancakes and the griddle side for things like bacon or even sausage. The other thing is that you can use this in six different cooking options. So one is grill, two is open grill. Um, the other one is flat and then open and flat, and then also you can use one half grill, half griddle. And then lastly, this knob on the side here is adjustable. It's actually more like a sliding bar. This actually holds the, it open so that you can actually top brown. If you wanted to do something like a piece of flatbread with a little bit of cheese on it, you can actually top brown from the top so that it gets nice and gooey and melted. So that's really neat too. Let me just put this back in place so we can close it all the way. So that's um, some of the functionality of the plates. It has a beautiful handle that operates as a leg when you open it up. Brushed stainless steel housing, really beautiful. In the back here, it has a removable drip tray. So if you're cooking anything that's um, high in fat, like I said, bacon or even hamburgers, the plates are designed so that um, the excess fat drips off into the removable um, a dish in the back. So let's look at the front. So right now the unit is off. I'm going to turn it on. You notice there's a large blue display. Um, the really great thing about this too is you can operate the lower and the upper plates at different temperatures or one or the other if you prefer. It also has a 60 minute timer. It goes up to 60 minutes. And here you notice um, there's also an upper sear and a lower sear. And that's really important for, um, I don't have both, whoops, I don't have both plates on here. Let me just fix this. I only had one plate on, so we put both on. So upper sear and lower sear, and it'll sear for about two minutes. And the important thing about searing is, say you're gonna be doing um, some steaks, which you can do quite a few steaks on this because it's 240 square inches. Um, it's really important to get a really good sear on, your, on the outside of your steak and then cook it at a lower temperature. The other thing that's nice too, I'm just going to, um, this is your um, start stop button also. I'm going to stop that, turn off the sear, and you can see as you turn, let me do it this way, you turn this, it adjusts the temperature of the plates up to um, 450 degrees. So you can go as low as 200 and all the way up to 450. Uh, 450. So I'm going to put them both on 450. And I'm going to hit start. So while the Griddler Elite is heating up, let me show you what I'm going to do with um, the panini sandwiches and then we can cook them off. So first I have this beautiful um, bread. You can use any kind of bread that you like. This happens to be ciabatta, which is a really good choice for making paninis. You can do things like uh, tomato and mozzarella and basil, but um, I used our food slicer earlier today to slice some of this ham, so I'm gonna use it to put together the panini. 
Now, um, this is pretty thick, so I'm only going to use one piece um, per sandwich. If my husband was here, he would put multiple pieces on, make it quite thick. I tend to go a little light with this kind of stuff. So um, one thing that you can do, if you, if you like, is you can um, put a little bit of olive oil on this if you wish. I, choo I choose not to do that. I tend to kind of, like I said, go a little bit light with the, uh, with the oils. So this is the fresh basil. We're just going to put that on there. It's going to give it a really beautiful taste and make it look really nice. Put three of those on there. And then close it up. Whoops, this one goes with this one. This one goes with that one. I mean, these are really generous sized sandwiches. So um, let me just pull this aside. Open this up. And we're going to put one on one side. It's going to go like that. And this on the other one. I mean, you could fit a lot more on here, but these are pretty generous sandwiches. And we're just going to set that down and we're going to let the paninis get nice and melted. We're going to come back and we're going to serve them up. So there we have it, our timer. I set the timer after um, I went and put it on cooking, but there you have it. It came out really nice and very, very hot and gooey and melted. I'm just going to get this one. super hot and delicious. I'm just going to close this. And remember, after you're done cooking with your griddler, make sure you let it cool off before you ever put the plates in the dishwasher. But it's really simple and easy to use. It's a very generous size, so you can use it for every day, for two people or a family, or it's even great when you're having parties or even a get-together with friends and family. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Griddler Elite.